Hello everyone, my name is Raphael here. I'm going to be teaching you how to convert Objective-C code into Swift. Very easy, all you need to do is download a few apps and add a few extensions. This is an Objective-C um, header file, an uh, implementation file that I created just for this tutorial. But let's begin. So let's head over to the App Store first. And simply go here and search for Swiftify. And then we're going to download the Swiftify um, application. So wait for it to download. It can take a while depending on your internet connection. But it's not really a big application because it, it's basically an add-on to Xcode. So it's not really too big. So I will wait for it to download. I don't need to pause the video for this. But once it's downloaded, so while it's downloading, let's get to the next step. And that is going up to our system preferences. So let's go click on the Apple logo and click on system preferences. We're going to head over to extensions. So wait for it to um, install completely. So I already have it installed, so my Swiftify for Xcode, if you do not have it installed, it may be unticked. So the first time you install it, so I actually uninstalled this Swiftify so that I could make this tutorial, but for some reason it didn't really disable. But So once you download it for the first time, this will be disabled, so click on it to enable it. And then if you're running Xcode right now, you're going to have to close Xcode and reopen it. So what I mean is literally quit the entire application and then click Xcode again. So let's go back to that application I made so that was Convert to Swift. That was the um, new project I made for this tutorial. So if you now head over to Editor, you can see Swiftify. So let's demonstrate by... Let's use this entire code and go to editor and do Swiftify and click conversion convert selection to Swift. And as you can see, if you do convert it, you can now see it says function, just like in Swift, it will say function, then the method name. Now if I were to undo it, it will be void because that's objective C. But that is how you convert to Swift. So simply do that and you will have basically programming will be very very much easier. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, help um, leave a like. Uh, I know I'll link, I'll link some of the sources I found as well in the description. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.